www.gimpknowshow.web.com. This is another Gimp Know How tutorial on how to do curved text for various uses in logos. I had a tutorial request for this and they sent me a message like four times. This does not mean to send me a message like four times. I just decided to do this tutorial since I didn't really have any other ideas. So make a new uh, image, any size really. I got a new Wacom tablet by the way, it's really nice. And open up the paths tool. And now I'll just make a quick path. Now you'll notice as I move my mouse off the path, or actually I'm sorry, click on a different tool, the path disappears. Now if you want to see your path, because if you're like, oh no, it disappeared, then click add tab, and then click paths. I've already added a paths tab. So if you click this little eye box here, you can see that the path appears, disappears, appears, disappears. Oh, we don't need it to appear. So now we're just going to type in a quick little message or whatever your name is, of whatever you want to have your text in. Okay, so hello, my name is Gimp Know How and I enjoy using Gimp. And so now what we need to do is text along path. So this will give us this kind of weird purplish outline, but that's okay. Now click layer, layer to image size. So now as you see that we have this thing and we really need to fill it in. So right click on, <clears throat> I'm sorry, uh, right click on your image and click select from path. Now take your paintbrush tool and make it pretty big. I'm going to do big. And now that you're selected from the path, all you need to do is fill it in. I'm, I, excuse me. I'm going to make a new layer just for convenience purposes. And I didn't select. Select from path. Now hide this. Now click select. None. And so there you have your hello, my name is Gimp Know How and I enjoy using G uh, Gimp. And you can move that wherever you want. You can even rotate it. So that is how to make a curved text effect on Gimp. Uh, if you like this tutorial, please subscribe um, and friend me. I accept everyone and anyone as friends. And yeah, I think that's about it. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Thank you.